This is a championship game in a way for Air Force. And they are headed up to Mitchie Stadium in Army and West Point. And Air Force right now is three and five. Army is six and two. We've seen them roll. Oh, by the way, one of those two losses is in overtime to number eight, Oklahoma. And uh, Kendall Hopkins Jr. in Army, they are running the ball and they, they, they're finding ways to win. They know how to win. Air Force, not so much, but Air Force did beat Navy. And the way the Commander in Chief Trophy criteria works, you know, you win two games. Now, I don't like this because coaches is the whole kiss your sister brother thing. If it, all, it ends in a tie, they all share it. Well, I don't like that. You know what? I don't think Air Force likes that either. Air Force is going to do what they can because they are playing for a trophy. And then after that, they've got three more games, so they're still playing for a bowl. Army has got to beat Air Force, and then they got to go beat the midshipmen if they want that trophy. Two similar offenses. Isaiah Sanders, you know, he's throwing a little bit more than uh, Kendall Hopkins Jr. Throw for four touchdowns, run for six. Kendall Hopkins Jr. is leading a rushing attack, which is number one, number two, number three in the country every other week. It just kind of goes back and forth. So, Mark, talk to us about what's going to go on up in your home state up north in New York at West Point. Well, let's just put it like this. Jeff Monkins did a terrific job as a head coach at Army. The last three years, they've been bowlable. They've gone to bowl. They're going to a bowl this year. He took over a two-win football team. He's turned this program around from the bottom to the top. They believe right now in Army they're playing great football. Kelvin Hopkins Jr., the quarterback, not only throwing the ball, but running the football, getting the job done offensively. But, Coach, this is what's more important to me. Defensively, they're getting stops and getting off the field. The last four games, they're averaging only giving up 14 and a half points a game. So they're doing it on both sides of the ball. When you can run the football, and you can stop the run, and you can keep the opponent under 17 points or less, you've got great opportunities to win the football game. I've got Army winning this game 20 I, I agree with you. I think Army's a, a very good football team defensively, very good on third yards, uh, third down offense and defense. But, you know, Air Force is really coming on, Mark. Not only did they beat uh, Navy 35-7, to 7, but they threw the ball, and there wasn't anything fluky about that. I mean, that was a decisive win. In the last couple of weeks, they lost a very, very close football game uh, to San Diego State. They had Boise State. I think they lost 48-38. The question is, can they stop Army? And it's going to be up there uh, at West Point. I look for Army to win the football game. 27-25, I think it's going to be a very close football game. It's going to be a great contest. You want to watch it because the one thing about the academies, they're so class and it's, they play the game the way it should be played as far as sportsmanship and no, uh, no one-upmanship and all these other things pounding your chest. They just go play the game. It's going to be a great game to watch. It's going to be a very, very interesting game. Well, when that game's over, they'll stay on side, shoulder to shoulder, seeing each other's alma mater at each end of the field, and it uh, doesn't get any better than that.